When you subtract out sleeping time, commuting time, and working time along with other commitments, most people have less than two hours per day to do what they actually want to do, and that might include time with their families, or giving more to charity, or philanthropic causes, or even taking more vacation. And in most cases, if people do take extra time for themselves, it comes at the cost of lost income. They have to choose between income and extra time for themselves. So let's talk about time and money, and let me ask you a question to illustrate this. If person A earns $120,000 per year, and person B earns $100,000 per year, who earns more money? And the answer might seem obvious at first until I give you the facts. Person A works 50 hours per week, while person B works 5 hours per week. So in actuality, person A earns $46.15 per hour, but person B earns $384.62 per hour. See, income is a function of time and money, not just money. Everybody chases the money, but it's a function of time and money. Time is actually, when you drill down to it, more important than money because lost time cannot be replaced. So our goal in life, the people that understand financial freedom, know that the goal is to make the most money possible with the least time involvement required. Let me give an example of that. If I'm a doctor that makes $500,000 a year, again a doctor, not a bad job, makes $500,000 a year and I go on a fishing trip with my son and then my pager goes off, the fishing trip ends. So there's two keys involved if you're looking for financial freedom and the first key to financial freedom is called leverage. And the people with the most freedom in the world have either other people's time, their people's money, or their own money working for them. They have leverage so they don't have to work. Because it doesn't matter how motivated you are, there's no way you can work 25 hours in a day. You need to leverage something else to get more work out of the day. So the second key to financial freedom is called residual income. And with leverage, you can attain residual income. Residual income is income earned for a long period of time after the work is completed. So if you think about an author that writes a book, he does the work initially writing the book, and then after the fact he gets paid over and over and over without putting in more work. Same thing with actors and singers and their royalties. And what if you have an investment property? Once you have the investment property, the rent comes in whether you're asleep or awake or on vacation or working. So here's another example of a residual income stream called interest income. Interest income is a situation where you put money into the bank and the bank pays you a percentage on the money that you invest with them. So let's pretend that all of your expenses added up to about $5,000 per month. Your car, your house, your bills, and your food and your clothing. You would have to have a million dollars in the bank at 6% to make a $5,000 a month residual income. In other words, to stop having to go to work. So the question is, if you don't have millions in the bank, or real estate rentals, or a singing or an acting career, how can you begin to own your life and experience that financial freedom? Network marketing is the best, most cost-effective option for most people interested in building a residual income producing asset. Now, I don't know how you reacted when I said network marketing, but you have to understand at this point, you probably know little about network marketing. Even if you think you're familiar, Many things that you think you know are probably not completely accurate, and this is because most people in network marketing do not do it correctly or weren't trained correctly. And those same people are probably the ones that gave you your exposure to it. So, what I'm here to do is give you a little bit of the fact. This presentation is not an attempt to convince you to do network marketing. This presentation is entirely educational, and let me explain. If you are sent here by someone to learn about these principles, please understand that it's because they feel you can benefit from the information. Professional network marketers do not ever try to convince, sell, or twist anybody's arm into the business. To do so would be like convincing someone to join a football team that didn't want to play football. I might succeed in convincing them to play, but once they get on the field, they're probably not going to play very well and it doesn't do anyone any good. So there's three marketing methods. The first one you know well, it's retail. You go to the grocery store, the department store, the drug store, or maybe you own a store. What you do is you purchase from a wholesale source, you mark up the price, and then you sell at retail. The income is not residual because you have to continually sell to make your income. Aside from retail, you have direct sales and network marketing. Direct sales is a situation where people come and sell and make a commission. If you've ever had somebody come to your door and try to sell you something like a vacuum or Avon, 
or you've done a mail order catalog or you have an insurance salesman. These are direct sales type organizations. The income is not residual because again you have to sell over and over and over to continually make commission. Network marketing should not be confused with direct sales as it always is because if done correctly there's no sales involved with network marketing at all. If you think you're going to join a network marketing company and be going door to door to sell people stuff that's absolutely not going to be the case. Network marketing is not a second job, but more like a rental property. It's a vehicle to work part-time on the side and build up extra income while you're doing what you do now. And the income in network marketing is residual, because once you do the work and you have the residual income in place, the work is done and the money continually comes in. So network marketing 101. Marketing is the process of moving a good or product from the manufacturer to the consumer. And the key phrase in this is moving a good or product. And you'll understand why in the next slide. Multi-level refers to the system of compensation provided to those that market the product or service. Let's say I had a product that I wanted to move to market in the traditional space. I might contact a television station, a radio station, or somebody representing billboards or a spokesperson to market my product. And I would pay them money or compensate them for marketing my product or service. In network marketing, we simply redirect the compensation from these traditional methods to independent distributors. That's the only difference. Network marketing legality. Network marketing should not be confused with illegal pyramid sales, as again, it always is. The key distinction between network marketing and pyramid sales is a product moving to market. All reputable network marketing companies have a product with market receptivity moving into the market and are 100% legal. There are good and bad network marketing companies, don't get me wrong. You have to do your due diligence on your network marketing company. But that's no different than good and bad restaurants or anything. If you created a bad restaurant, you wouldn't swear off the restaurant industry. You would just not go back to that particular restaurant. Pyramid schemes are money games. They involve no product moving to market and should not be confused with network marketing. So to recap, the true definition of financial freedom is having enough monthly residual income, in other words, income that you don't work for, to pay all of your monthly expenses and support your lifestyle. Financial freedom means you dictate where your body goes 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, 365 days a year. And to attain this type of freedom, you must use some vehicle that utilizes leverage to earn residual income. If you don't have millions in the bank, rental property, or an, act, or an acting career, network marketing is a viable way for most people to build a large residual income stream without a large investment. So let's go back to this chart that we reviewed before. Let's use the same example of $5,000 a month to cover all of your expenses. In the traditional world, how long would it take you doing your job now to save a million to three million dollars? But in network marketing, you have the ability to part-time start working on that $5,000 a month residual income stream without affecting your current revenue. So in network marketing, a duplicable system is the heart of an organization. And what you might not have realized up until now is that you are in the middle of the system as we speak. So has your interest been piqued at all by the prospect of building a residual income producing asset on the side? If no, not an issue. Just let the person that sent you here know. They'll not be offended and that's the end of it. If yes, before you learn about the actual company we represent, the next step is to learn how the income works in network marketing and what's involved on a day-to-day -day basis. So simply continue on to presentations one through four. They're all about five minutes each and won't take much of your time. There's 10 presentations in all, but presentations 6 through 10 are more for in-depth training should you decide to join us. Thanks so much for your time, and see you on presentation.